I've had my Orient Kamasu for about a year and a half now, picking it up well before they were known by that name. At the time, no one quite knew what to call them, but while looking into them, I became fascinated with this red burgundy version. In the time I've had it, it's become one of my favorite divers, and one I'd easily recommend, as it has an in-house movement, gorgeous dial, awesome loom, and sapphire crystal. I think it could be one of the best divers under 300 bucks. However, it's not quite perfect, and there are a few things that could be improved, and the bracelet is one of them. Now, some of you might recall a video I put out a few weeks ago, where I took a look at two bracelets from Uncle Seiko, and those are for the new Alpinist. But while putting that video together, I started researching some strap code bracelets, and I just happened to find this crazy looking one for the Kamasu. Now, I've been meaning to check out strap code for quite some time, and I haven't seen anything quite like this retro razor bracelet. Plus, I was just really curious on how this would look on my burgundy dial version. So I placed an order, and as I say, the rest is history. The retro razor bracelet looks pretty similar to their standard oyster, or super o bracelet where it has a brush finish on the top and a highly polished finish on the side. Except here, the first length is extra long, and it has a stylized dog bone or hourglass cutout in the middle. But it's that extra length that really changes up the look, and I think gives it a bit of a retro 70s vibe, which I think goes well with this red dial, not to mention my current pandemic style haircut, or lack thereof. It's definitely a bracelet that makes a big visual impact, and I know some are going to dig it like I do, but I know there's going to be some that would prefer a more conservative standard oyster. The way I see it, this red dial is really hard to tone down, so you might as well play with it rather than try to hide it. Now, the quality of the bracelet is great, and I think that shows that Strapco deserves the reputation they've gotten. It has solid end links that fit perfectly, a good finish, screwed in links, and a great milled clasp. Pretty much everything you want. It's a really well-made bracelet, with more of a solid feel to it than the stock bracelet that comes with the Kamasu. Yet amazingly, it doesn't seem to add any weight. Size for my wrist with the watch, it comes in at 155 grams, which is one gram less than what I had with the stock bracelet. But the most important thing of all is that it's pretty comfortable to wear. It starts out at 22 millimeters, but then tapers down to 18 before you get to the Oyster links. Overall, it's just a great bracelet, but there are a few things you should know about it. The first is comfort. Now, as I said, it's pretty good, and with my 7-inch wrist, I didn't have any complaints at all. But those extra long first links don't conform to your wrist as much as a regular bracelet. So, compared to a regular oyster, there is going to be a small sacrifice in comfort for this look. It's just something to be aware of. The second is the overall length of the bracelet. I think it's a little short. When I typically size a bracelet, I usually remove three to four links, but here I only had to remove two. So if you have a larger wrist, like say getting closer to eight inches, you might need a few extra links in order to get this to fit. But other than that, it's just a great bracelet. Now, of course there are some cheaper options out there if you just want a bracelet. But if you're looking for something specific with fitted end links, your options are a lot more limited. So it's nice to know that Strap Coat is a reliable source for great bracelets with some variety. But it is a quality you are going to pay for. Now, in the future, if I happen to be looking for another bracelet, I'd easily order from Strap Coat again. It's just that for me personally, I wouldn't order a good bracelet unless I know the watch is a keeper. Otherwise, it's going to get pretty expensive pretty quick. Well, that's about all I have to say about the Retro Razor bracelet. But let me know what you think down below, as well as your thoughts on this other crazy rollerball bracelet from Strapcode. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for joining me.